in store today. We have the students and we have our teachers from the Haverford School in Delaware County. They just entered the classroom to show the test students and their favorite teachers. And you think these guys are ready to rock? I got a busload of people that says they are too. What's up, everybody? Oh, man, they're ready. I hope you are too because it's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights before we meet our contestants. We're calling it right now. It's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Okay, Haverford, let's do it. Teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer guy is going to be worth 10 points for your score. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other side can buzz in. Going to have a chance to steal those points. Nate, Ryan, Isaiah, pop quiz starts right now. What is the term for animals that eat only meat? <laughs> Mr. Newman. That's carnivore. That is correct. How many nickels are needed to make 20 cents? Nate? Four. Four is right. What US state is known as the Aloha State? Isaiah? Hawaii. Hawaii. The battles of Lexington and Concord were the first battles of what war? Nate again. American Revolution. Nicely done. What is the name of the crab in Disney's The Little Mermaid? Mr. Newman? Sebastian. Everyone's favorite crab. B, K, L, and P are all examples of what kind of letters of the alphabet? Mrs. Brown. Consonants. Good. In the NBA, the Cavaliers represent what city? Isaiah. Cleveland. What popular Hasbro game involving whipped cream also has a showdown and canon version? Mr. Grossman. Pie in the face. For the Steel students, Nate. Pie face? That's what we were yes. looking for. <laughs> Beagles and German Shepherds are what breeds of animal? Oh. Mr. Newman. Dogs. What color is complementary to blue on the color wheel? Mr. Newman again. Orange? Yeah. In math, what is the term for the number by which the di dividend is divided? Mrs. Brown. Denominator? Students for the steal. Take a guess. Ryan? The quotient? We're looking for the divisor there, guys. Oh, man, and that is it for the pop quiz. The bell has rung. Let's take a look at our scores. 50 points apiece over here and over here. We're off to a great start. I love a good pop quiz. Today, you guys, I am so pumped. We have the students and teachers from the Haverford School in Haverford, Pennsylvania, home of the Fords, and let's meet some of them right now. Nate, good to see you, man. Look at that smile. I love that. You are pumped to be here, man. I'm glad to have you guys. Great start to the game so far. You guys are clearly ready to rock. $500 is going to somebody if you win. Where's yours going to go? It's going to go to, we have an annual field trip to Puerto Rico for a service project, and it's going to go to supplies for funding it. That is a field trip at your school? I went to the zoo, like local in <laughs> Philly. You're going to Puerto Rico. I'm going to your school, man. That sounds <laughs> awesome. All right, well, hopefully you guys can win that. I heard around town that you are one of the best fantasy <laughs> players in Philadelphia, is that true? What kind do you play? Um, I, I like to play PPR, points All right. per reception. All right, so you're a football fantasy guy? Yes. Uh, who's your best player this year, anybody? Uh, not really. All right, well, you know who, to <laughs> I said around town. Isaiah told me you were awesome at it. He said he's good dudes like in first place in the league. Hopefully you finish strong, man, so good job. Thank you. Ryan, eighth grade, we like to call you guys around town Lax Bros. What yeah. position do you play, and aren't you afraid of those sticks? I play attack and not anymore. What, what, really. you, his whole left side is just numb from getting hit too many times. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Absolutely. The goals are worth it, right? Absolutely. All right, nicely done, man. Isaiah, eighth grader. Yeah. You think he's attractive? You should see his twin. Is he here today? Yeah, he is. He's, there uh, he is. He's, he's in the right. Yes, my guy. Yeah. All right, so who's older, you or your twin? Uh, actually, I'm older by 10 minutes. <laughs> and uh, those 10 minutes happen to be the best 10 minutes of my entire life. So. <laughs> Ten minutes, I was the youngest child. All right, Isaiah, you're the man. Good luck today. Hey, he did not mean that, all right? He did not mean that. Guys, you have three awesome teachers over here, but you three off to a great start. Let's keep it up, okay? All right, 
Mr. Grossman, good to see you. Five hundred dollars on the line today. Yeah. You got three great kids over here going against. If you guys win it, where's that going to go? It's going to go to St. Barnabas, which is a local food pantry. We do a can drive with them every year, so we like to kick them some more cash as well to help support their effort. That's a great effort. I love that. So, uh, science teacher, and the prep game is strong with this guy. Let's get a nice ice warm because tell these guys what you did today. I cut my own hair this morning. I was looking a little, little shabby on the side, so I gave myself a haircut before coming down. That is an awesome job. <laughs> Good. What do we use? Is that a buzzer or is that a scissor job? I use some clippers. I'm being a teacher. I don't like to spend money on much of anything. So bought yeah. those clippers years ago. <laughs> so yeah, man, maybe you can get a free trip to Puerto Rico with these guys. I hear they're going. I'm going. I'm going. All right, All right. Go. Well, I did buzz it solid. That'd get a nice tan up there. All right, Mrs. Brown. Learning is fun with you. And some of these guys over here told me that you have some of the wildest stuff in class. So just tell me what you're doing because it sounds crazy interesting. We have a couple of fun games that we like to play throughout the year. I teach world cultures and so during our Japan unit we do a little simulation game that we call the price is rice um, and during our Russia unit we do a we learn about Stalin with a game called that's Bolshevik. <laughs> they like that, a lot. that is the greatest name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Mr. Newman all the way at the end. This is the greatest job known to man. My dude you're a librarian. It is truly glorious. It is a beautiful and, and amazing job. Okay. Okay, and you kind of look like you could pull it off. Like you just look like a guy that could carry around an encyclopedia and just be like, "Hello, children. Good morning. How are you today?" Pretty much. I guess. I guess I inhabit that role pretty well. All right. Well, we're so glad to have three awesome teachers here with us today. We have three awesome kids. But guys, somebody has to go to detention because we got five hundred dollars on the line. So let's play. Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. Since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. I'm going to give you a category. As a team, we're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to choose to play or pass and kick it over here to the teachers. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You get to look at these three, stare them right in the eye, and say, go to detention. But if you get it wrong, be careful because they are going to pick one of you off. If you pass, the other team must answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to detention. They're going to get 40 points for their score. Right now, we are knotted up at 50. So let's play this game. Students, how do you, be, how do you feel about the category of English? No play. I'll play. In the sentence, the girl ran away. What is the complete predicate? Ran away. That's exactly right. There's your complete predicate right there. And this is where it gets fun. Nate, Ryan, Isaiah, you got three teachers over here. Maybe they've been getting you a hard time in class lately. They've been kind of getting on you. Send somebody to detention. Uh, Mr. Grossman. Mr. Grossman out of the game. Sorry, pal. Look at the bright side. He's got a great haircut. So as you go to detention, just know you look good, baby. <laughs> teachers. Category is space. Play? Yeah, Let's we'll play. play. What is the term for a bowl-shaped depression on the surface of a planet or more or, or moon formed by the impact of a meteoroid? Crater. Crater's right. Nicely done. Get it right back. Isaiah. Not even yes. thinking twice, she had a vendetta <laughs> against them, right and she just pulled it up right here. <laughs> All right, Isaiah. Here we go, students. We're going back to you guys. Category is popular music. Pass. <laughs> that might have been a good pass. I think it's evil, but I think we should take it. To the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Now kick, now kick. Our lyrics and dance moves to what 2007, 2007 song? Uh, shuffle. Something shuffle. Five seconds. It's a Beyonce tune. I can't think of what it is. Something. Now, incorrect, guys. We're looking for the Cupid Shuffle. I got so Come on. I can't believe you missed it. It's the wedding favorite. Guys, what a pass by Nate and Ryan. Kicked it over to the teachers. They couldn't do it. You guys get to pick one of them off now. Miss Brown. Miss Brown, out of there. Sorry, Mr. Newman. Holding your own down at there at the end. All right. Okay, detention's getting filled up over there, so we are going back to our teachers here with our next category of children's books. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This like was to take not. It. <laughs> I don't even want to. Yeah, are you going to play or do you want to kick it over I'd like here? To, I'd like are to you play. sure you don't want to pass? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, in the children's book, Madeline, what does Madeline have removed in the hospital? 
her tonsils. Her appendix oh, is what we were looking God. for. The librarian couldn't do it, but that's okay because the students just banked some major points. Mr. Newman, I'm sorry to say, you gotta go to detention, sir. Students in the lead, 90 points to our teachers, 50. You guys have to come back because when we do, we're gonna see how well these guys can spell. Don't go anywhere. Shake it. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from the Haverford School in Delaware County. They're going head to head. The scores, students in the lead, 90 points right now to the teachers, 50. So it's anybody's game. And I'm telling you, we're putting the phones away. There's no cheating here because we're getting right back into it with some spell check. Let's go. Okay, here's how this game is going to work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm gonna give you a word to spell, 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you stay a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're gonna win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing. I'm gonna give them 10 points just for making it through the round. So let's do it. We're gonna play some spell check. We're gonna start with you, Nate. Adult. A-D-U-L-T. All right, Mr. Grossman, we're going to start with teachers with the word wrong. W-R-O-N-G. Eager. E-A-G-E-R. Carry. C-A-R-R-Y. Impose. Impose. I-M-P-O-S-E. Job, Isaiah. Fortune. Fortune. F O R T. U N E. Good job, Mr. Newman. Upright. U P R I G H T. Good job, Nate. Therapy. T H E R A P Y. Revenge. R E V E N G E. We stay perfect. We move into the word belittle. B E L I T T L E. Scenery. Scenery. S C E N A R Y. E R, you're out of there. We're down to two over here. Compound. Compound. C O M P O U N D. Teacher stay perfect. Nate, evolution. E V O U L. Forgot that L, my man. Down to our last speller, Ryan. Let's see how Mr. Grossman does with the word destroyed. D E S T R O Y E D. Destroyed. Additional. A D D I T I O N A L. Good. Fabricate. F A B R I C A T E. Job, Mrs. Brown. Teacher, stay perfect. Ryan, minuscule. M I N I F N I U S. My guy, which means teachers stay perfect in the round. 30 points for them, bringing their score up to 80. Students with 90. This is a tight game, guys, and we're not done yet. Picture day is next, and hopefully those smiles stick around during our final exam. The classroom is still in session when you come back. Look at those fingers, just hold them up. Number one, baby. Number one. I don't have any. I just have big, long fingers that are yellow. Hey, welcome back to the classroom today. We have students versus teachers from the Haverford School in Delco. I've already, I've already decided to say this is the coolest first row I've ever seen. What's up, guys? And what's up, Delco? Good to see you guys, man. I got Jaden and Colin right here. Look. You are the official twin of Isaiah, right? Yes. All right, so he's up 10 points right now. Students are in the lead, 90 points, the teacher's 80. What do you think? Or is this something you expected that he'd be in the lead? Uh, Isaiah, was, Isaiah was, he's been always really good at spelling. So I, I think he, she, just had a, she had a brain fart in the middle of there. Yeah, so <laughs> we're getting some in-depth analysis here from your brother. All right, Jack and Will, you guys go to the school. Do you think the teachers have it or is the students today? Oh, it's all the teachers. Wow, really? You're feeling it? <laughs> Sorry, boys, you guys are on your own. Teachers, you got some fans out here. And guys, I got good news then because it's time for the greatest game ever where we just smile and say, let's play picture day. Like, come on, let's do it. <laughs> Your brother's giving you a hard time over there, Isaiah. Classic, you yeah. know? <laughs> 
classic. <laughs> Grab your buzzers, teams. You're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you guys three clues. One at a time with each clue, we're going to move three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify the picture. They're going to win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other side can buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today, possible 30 points on the board. So let's get right into it. Here's picture number one. These comedians are from New Jersey. Clue number two, this duo has won multiple Teen Choice Awards. Isaiah? Drake and Josh. Is that Drake and Josh? Teachers for the steal. Not fans of Teen Choice Awards, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Clue number three. We're going to move three more of those boxes. These twin brothers are famous on YouTube. Isaiah? Dolan twins? Is that the Dolan twins? That's yeah. what we were looking for. There they are. All right, guys, that brings you up to 100 points to our teacher's 80, and we are getting right into picture number two. She was a Quaker. Nate. Betsy Ross. <laughs> is that Betsy Ross with a laugh and a little bit of a snort? That is exactly who that is. Are you kidding me? I've never seen someone cry out of pure happiness on this show. <laughs> and if you look really closely, we are going to get a close-up of those tears. My man is so happy. What, how did you know that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we can officially say someone cried on her show. We win. All right, guys, here's picture number three. <laughs> Let's remove three of those boxes. Here's your first clue. This person lived in Africa until the age of 16. Nate. Malala. Is that mm -hmm. Malala? Mm -hmm. Incorrect. Teachers, you want to buzz in and steal? Mr. Grossman. Is it Joel Embiid? Is that Joel Embiid? What? That's exactly who it is, yeah. Look at those shoulders. My man Joel, the process. Bringing you guys up to 90 points. Guys, what a round. Let's take a look at the score. Students in the lead, 110. To the teachers, 90, as we go into the all-coveted final exam. Okay, the topic of today's final exam is where are we going? I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points, possible 300 points still left on the board. Teams, you can talk about it during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. Let's hear these questions first. The first question on the final exam, let's hop in the car and drive to the capital of Pennsylvania. Where are we going? Question number two, the final exam. Now it's time to sail away to the island town where it rains food in the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Name that island town. Question number three and the final question on the final exam here. Travel back in time to the city where tea was thrown into the harbor to protest taxation without representation. What city are we visiting? Okay, we know the question. Each team has 60 seconds to come together, rack their brains, and see how many of these they can get right. When we come back, we're gonna see which team aces this final exam. Ranks first right here in the classroom. But hey, we always have a good time. If you wanna be a part of the fun, here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back everybody at home. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from the Haverford School. They're going head to head. The scores right now are tight. Students in the lead, 110 points to the teachers, 90. We've had everything in this game, right answers, wrong answers, and even a little bit of tears. So it's been a good one, but who's gonna win? Who knows? The final exam is where we're going next. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget guys, possible 300 points on the board, 100 points for every right answer. So let's get right into it and see who ace to this exam gonna take those bragging rights back to their school question one let's hop in the car and drive to the capital of Pennsylvania where are we going we're gonna start with our teachers mr. Newman Harrisburg is right 
Bringing you guys up to 190. Students, you might not be old enough to drive, but we're hopping in that car anyway. Where are our parents taking us? Harrisburg is right. Nicely done. Now it's time to sail away to the island town where it rains food in the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I love this movie. Name that island town. Teachers, Mrs. Brown. That town would be Chew and Swallow. Chew and Swallow is right. We'd also take Swallow Falls. <laughs> Students love a good movie. Ryan, you guys said? Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle is incorrect, unfortunately. As we move into this all-coveted final question, travel back in time to the city where tea was thrown into the harbor to protest taxation without representation. What city are we visiting students to stay in the game? You said? Boston, which puts the pressure back onto the teachers. You get it right, you win the game. You get it wrong, you lose. You said? We said Boston. Boston, ladies and gentlemen, your winners today are the teachers, and $500 is going to Haverford School. Come on out here, guys. Collect this check. We want to thank everyone for being here today. Thank you. We'll see you next time right here on The Classroom. <laughs> Nicely done. Students got robbed at the end there, guys. We needed you. You knew that answer, huh? Yeah.